Hi, Poo Poo's. Nice Poo Queen of Cups. Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poo Poo's Trap. So, this is a love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know. Um, keep in mind, these are general messages. They may or may not resonate. If they do, great. If they don't, you can always book a personal reading with me to find out what your story is. Or you can check out your Moon, Rising, or your Venus sign. Okay? So let's see what the tea is. What's going on for Sagittarius with love, universe, spirits, and guides? Let's pick up on some new energy. Y'all y'all started something new with new life. So something new is coming towards you. <laughs> new life came out. Right back out. Y'all saw me just sit up here and show the cards. So, something new coming towards you or you already started something new with somebody? Excuse me. Never ending story came out. So, you guys came out of actually... Um, not criticizing y'all self no more, not uh, feeling bad for yourself no more. Y'all just got out that slump, or you guys are about to get ready to come out that slump. Y'all got some happiness going on. What's, what's going on? What's the tea? Some of y'all figured out that somebody wasn't for you. And once you figured out that somebody wasn't for you, you actually did get ready for something that was for you. Like I said, that new life. New life. So, yeah, y'all opening up to something better, something new, or somebody is opening up towards you. Moving forward, opening up your heart chakra to somebody, or somebody just is about to get ready to do that. Well, y'all about to get ready to put yourself out there. So y'all got clarity about something. Sacral chakra. Teach. Y'all learned y'all lesson about a situation. So yeah, like I said, y'all finna put yourself back out there. Or y'all already did get back out there with spread your wings. Which caused you to actually, that was the best thing that y'all could have done. So just sitting back waiting to see if this is worth investing in or you actually need to sit back and wait. Some of y'all, if you haven't already connected with somebody, you, you need to just sit back and wait and um, observe your options very good. Like, very, very well before you start choosing anybody. So you came out of that isolation. And guess what you attracted? Love. You were heartbroken at first, but you start putting yourself out there. You start, you know, you took the leap of faith. Now you attracted love. You spoke up. I love it. So, do I have to get... Okay. Let me pull a horoscope, horoscope cards for, you know, any zodiac signs or just messages for y'all. Messages that you have for Sagittarius. Ooh, yeah, y'all standing in y'all power. 
Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius, or you could be dealing with another Sagittarius, or somebody have Taurus, a Taurus moon. So you you build up your self-esteem. That's what happened. This is number 14. It's broken down to five. So change came about with you. And you um, gained your personal growth. And new beginnings actually came. I told you took a, a leap of faith. That's what it says on the Aries card. So we have Sun and Aquarius number 11. Opportunity, readiness for change. And y'all realized that it was time for change. And that's what you attracted. You attracted love now. Some of y'all haven't really got to this stage yet, but you're about to. So, Sun and Sagittarius, number nine, adventure stride into new territory. So, y'all realize that something just wasn't for you. You moved on. You learned your lesson, and you got back out there. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, and guess what you attracted? I'm happy for y'all. Ten of Pentacles, something long term. Yes. Something stable. Y'all cut out all the bull stuff. The bull crap. There's a commitment. A commitment of possible marriage could be a Taurus. proud of y'all now you are stable what message do you have for Sagittarius oh could be a Leo now you're happy happiness 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 I love it she's smiling down I feel like that's how happy y'all y'all are or y'all about to be make this up i can't y'all put an end to all that manipulation game plan man game plan now the wheel is turning into your favor and oh my god i'm so proud of y'all i'm so happy see i'll be telling people this is why you have to go heal and cut out all the bs and stand on it because you will be surprised what you attract could be a gemini or a taurus you are attracting a soulmate of the destined soulmate a person that's actually you supposed to be committed to. With the lovers and the higher fan. Oh, congratulations, y'all. Like I said, some of y'all ain't reached this point yet. But some of y'all did. And this is a stable person, too. Could be very attractive as well. King of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I can't make this up. Two of Cups. This is a soulmate. This is something that was destined for you. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Now, for some of y'all, it could be a cancer. For some of y'all um, who haven't got this, you need to go ahead and keep moving forward with this chariot right here because you're going to be slowly going towards something that's meant for you with this type of energy. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. I can't make this up. What? What did y'all do? Y'all done manifested some stuff. So, with this Queen of Wands, y'all closed chapters, and y'all was patient. It was a struggle. But now y'all have something to celebrate. It was an offer, even if it was a small offer, but it became to be a big one with this Ace of Cups. Can't make this up. Congratulations, y'all. Y'all manifested this. You manifested this. 
you gained that courage. You got, you know, you did cry with spilled milk. You did have, you know, but you got the clarity. You start listening to your intuition. And now you got something to hold on to. You got somebody to hold on to now. Moved away from the BS is what I instantly picked up with the Six of Swords. You definitely moved away from the BS and manifested what you want. Some of y'all spying on this person too with this Page of Swords. Okay. So proud. I hope some of y'all did listen to me and y'all readings because if y'all did, I feel like a proud mama. Look what y'all didn't get now. Or what y'all have coming. Great fortune. Good luck. Tell me more for Sagittarius. think about locking you down too yeah courtship and a mature person could be an older person could they could be older than you um but yeah you manifested somebody who's matured and this person want a relationship just as well as you but yeah this person's thinking about locking you down y'all could be at a distance from each other about you they think about you heavenly so this person actually expect to have a new beginning in their own life hmm. so they they just as hopeful as you are i love it i love it i love it i love it i already know what i'm gonna type y'all read very passionate about you Romantic feelings. Yes, yes, yes. Finances and career. Some of y'all could uh, be in separation of somebody right now, and I feel like something else is coming. Trust. So trust this process. Y'all ain't got nothing worry to worry about because we got this could be the one heart to heart conversation. This person already, they already feeling you. They already want you. I'm just being honest. They already want you. They already see what they what they could have with you. So y'all ain't really got nothing to worry about. Usually I will pull from that um dark mirror deck, but there is nothing to even really to go within and even see if they had anything or how they feeling. You don't need to know that because this person is on the same page as you. So what's the uh, outcome? Give me two cards of the outcome. It's for Sagittarius and this person. <laughs> Could be Aquarius. Bring love into this situation. I can't make this shit up, y'all. New moon in Aquarius. I can't make this up. Give me one more. Y'all did the work. I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of y'all. I can't praise y'all enough. The others of y'all, if you haven't got to this point, you need to start doing the work because this is what you have to look forward to. Everybody that listened to me on y'all um, y'all past readings, I am very proud of y'all. Y'all deserve this. Uh, end of a tough cycle. 
full moon in Capricorn, it's time to take action, new moon in, in Aries. So don't worry about anything. You have the clarity right here. You got the clarity. Now, have courage to keep moving towards this. Don't get afraid. Don't get, oh, you know, oh, well, this person is doing something. This person ain't doing shit. This person wants the same thing you want. Don't even overthink it. Don't talk yourself out of it. You keep going with the flow. That's what you do. I'm very proud of y'all. Very, very proud of y'all because I know some of y'all took my advice. I know y'all did. And I'm very proud. I feel like, like I said, I feel like a proud mama. Seriously. Seriously. I love when I get readings like this. I swear I do. Now, other than that, I love you guys. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. Also, um, go over there, like my, um, follow my Instagram, y'all. I need some more followers. You know, it's new stuff on, on, on my Instagram that I'm going to be doing. So, you know, y'all give me a little favor over there and, you know, follow your girl. Other than that, I'm so proud of y'all. That's all I can keep saying. I am so proud of y'all. Congratulations. And like I said, if you haven't done the work, you better start doing it now before this energy start changing. You don't want to have a missed opportunity on something. That the universe is trying to give you so start doing the work you never know what you can uh, manifest i'm surprised believing the impossible um blue moon didn't come out in that day but other than that i love you guys i'll talk to you guys later bye poo -poos.